The lawyers are the scammers. They know the rules inside and out, and they use it against us, the common people. And it's time in this country that we stood up and we said no more frivolous lawsuits. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, home of Bitcoin, the largest and greatest crypto community in all the interwebs. No channel works harder to keep you in the know about crypto. And that's right. Defund the SEC. I can't find my nipples. De defund the SEC. That's the message, guys. Let's start with this. There's a show, Killer Whales, uh, which... <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. I mean, it really pisses me off. Yeah. I'm going to try to be calm here. There's your killer whales. I want you guys to know, they made the announcement that I was joining this show. The announcement. I was supposed to be on multiple episodes, by the way. I was going to be a major player on the show. They made the announcement of this. I'm pretty sure pretty close to the day I had my hearing down in Miami about the fake harassment for the lawyer that lied under oath and said I harassed him with phone calls. Mm. Adam Moskowitz lied under oath. I want everybody to hear that about me making threatening phone calls to him. It never happened. The, the hour he said it occurred and a later phone call, I was literally live streaming making videos the entire time. It, it, it was literally impossible for me to make those phone calls. He lied to the judge. He lied about his plaintiff. He lied about his own daughter. That's the kind of person this man is, okay? Literally lied under oath about me. There's an FTX lawsuit against me, a billion dollars, which I didn't do. They took a Photoshop of me in uh, of my suit, right? They were supposed to do, do me of my suit. I wore that hearing. We're going to put it on the announcement. K Killer Whale's have been talking to me about this since, um, when was the first time they approached me with this? Probably six months ago. Yeah. And, and, and I want to I preempt this by saying, Alcoin Daily is involved in this show. Alcoin Daily has nothing to do with this decision. I, I, we texted back and forth yesterday. I love Altcoin Daily. They are, Aaron and Austin are great friends of mine. The, the, some of the two best friends I have in this entire space. Wendy's going to be on the show. Absolutely love Wendy. There's some other people going to be on the show that I love. Some people I don't really like that are on the show, whatever. But the fact is, is that they made this big announcement. I was, the, outside of the three main people on the show, I was the first announcement that they made. The first one, okay? Big deal about me being on the show. Now, this is after I did another show called Crypto Gym, Next Crypto Gym, which we're going to talk about here in just a minute. Um, cool. Let, let's read the email here. This is the email I got yesterday. And, and I want you guys to see something. Somebody, somebody made the, an idiotic tweet about this and said, well, it seemed like what they did is pretty, they, they did it pretty gracefully. Okay, Let, let's get to this. Hi, Ben. This, this is, by the way, about our 40th email we've had with them. Okay. I hope this finds you well. I want to get in touch with you in regards to your appearance on Killer Whales. Me and the team have been pushing for you to appear since the beginning, but unfortunately, as a result of the compliance check and the ongoing FTX case, which I did nothing, I did nothing, and I will be dismissed from this case, and I will be adding this removal to my lawsuit against Adam Moskowitz after this is over. Mm. Guaranteed. Adam Moskowitz is going to rue the day. I'm not allowed to make new accusations against him. That's part of the deal from the judge. I will respect that. I am suing this man to high heavens. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. Bet your bottom Satoshi. As a result, in the ongoing FTX case, I haven't been able to, oh, there's the word, assuage our partners and TV networks' concerns. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm going to make no comments about that. Yeah. Although, personally, I've looked into the case and feel there are no grounds for concern. Also, Aaron and Austin help explain the situation to us. Our mainstream partners are less risk adverse and want this resolved before allowing us to feature in the show. As I'm sure you can appreciate that in the current climate, we are making a show about crypto projects. There's a lot of scrutiny and pressure. I'm hopeful that we'll be able to work with you in the future once it's cleared up. That's wrong. And disappointed we won't be able to feature you on season one. Uh, look at this. Look at this now. I want you guys to notice this. The whole thing here is integrity. Who has integrity? Who tells the truth? I do. Constantly, people around me are lying and scamming and, and, and wanting to, to make something that's not true. Please do let us know if you want to talk any more through this. And in the meantime, I'd like to prepare a short statement citing a scheduling conflict. You freaking liar. It is not a scheduling conflict. That is a lie. Where is the integrity? Where are your mainstream partners? When you are here on Twitter lying in an email about this situation, I am tired of people lying and accusing me, the only honest person out here. I'm the only one that's telling you the truth. Paul Kaslin is a liar. He wanted me to concoct a story to make them look good and make me look good. Wrong, Paul. I'm not a liar. I tell the people the truth. That's why I immediately went to Twitter and put this up so people will see the kind of people that you're dealing with on that show, Killer Whales. They will lie to you to make themselves look good. Why? Because they know after this is over and I'm dismissed from this case, they know and they understand they are going to look like crap. Well, guess what, Killer Whales? Guess what? I'm going to make a competitor. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to crush you with it. That's what you guys have done now. Yeah. That's what you've done. The lying is right here in the email. We'll call it a scheduling conflict. Right. I'm not about appearances and images. I'm about what's real. That's why the people on this show love me. That's why the real people in crypto love me. That's why. Because I tell it from the heart. I wear it on my sleeve. I don't concoct stories for smoke and mirrors. I don't do it. Where's, where's my phone? Paul Kaslin? Killer whales? The people behind making the decisions, no comment. Created a monster. Tagrity Farms. Mm. There we go. So now, it, now, so as we continue on here, that, that, that lie just got me. Yeah. I, I, I was sticking with them, and I was saying, okay, I kind of understand, kind of understand. The whole thing is about integrity. This is garbage, to be honest with you. So as it continues, I then say... Um, Let's see. And this is true. After I sue Adam Moskowitz, following my dismissal from the case, which will happen because I didn't do anything, all of these people will be sorry they did not side with the truth and chose to live in fear, which I will not do. Mm. I saved people from FTX. Countless people. I met more people this week in Miami. They said, thank you so much. When you said get your money off, I did it. And you saved me. That's what people told me this week. I, I'm staying away from Avalanche. You want to make money off of uh, Sam Bankman Freed 2.0? Go ahead. Put money in Avalanche. Have at it. But why would you do that when there's better projects out there that are actually playing by the rules and doing good things like HBAR, Algorand, ICP, uh, Ethereum, Cardano? Like, what? Polygon, OP, R why would you? Why would you go with, with that? I, I don't get it. I really don't, to be honest with you. This experience has been humbling. Who is this, the CEO? The CEO of Ledger. Um, it's been humbling. We want to do right by the customers and community. Everybody makes mistakes. And how quickly can we fix them? We come to the community with answers to your questions. Wow. What do they you think about that? I liked it. They listened. They might. They're noticing it. The power is in the people. We have to realize it. You know, an elephant isn't scared of one ant, but it will be afraid of a colony of ants. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, well, guys, this is good news. I mean, guys, what did I say on the show yesterday? What did I rant and rave about for 10 minutes? Time to start a revolution. Starts right here in crypto. Yep. Send the message, fix it. And they fixed it. We'll see what they say tomorrow. We'll see what they say.